Hello my little readers and welcome to Storytime with Hannah and Patrick. This week we will be reading Pumpkin's Fairy Tale Written by Tracy Curran Illustrated by Wayne Oram Published by Final Chapter So are you sitting comfortably? Yes? Then let's begin. Everyone wants a good story to read. Well, how about this one? It grew from a seed. This deep, rusty pumpkin's magnificent tale began when the farmer wrote, Pumpkins for sale. He grew like no other, so plump in the patch, deliciously ripe and the best of the batch. Sweet pulpy flesh on a twisty green vine, till a witch passing by screeched. That pumpkin is mine! <laughs> the witch called the farmer. She offered him gold. He grinned with delight. Yes, my pumpkin is sold. With bountiful flesh and magnificent size, this Halloween pumpkin will win you a prize. Earwigging pumpkin said, Not on your nelly. You'll carve me up and then put a fire in my belly. I want a job making wishes come true. A job that is different. A job that is new. He rolled and he rolled till he stopped for a doze by a garden of seedlings being pecked at by crows. Can I hear your snoring? The gardener spied him and eagerly said, I want a new scarecrow and you'll be the head. Pumpkin cried, Crikey, I'd better roll quick. I'm not scaring crows or being stuck on a stick. I want a job making wishes come true. A job that is different. A job that is new. He rolled on and on till he came to a brook where crossing a bridge was a rich lady's cook. What excellent luck! The cook cried with a whoop. On the menu today, will be fresh pumpkin soup. Mm. Pumpkin was horrified. No, I'm away. If I'm on the menu, there's no way I'll stay. I want a job making wishes come true. A job that is different. A job that is new. He fled for the doorway, a chance to break free. But someone was sobbing. Who could that be? A raggedy girl by the fire full of woe. The ball has begun, but they won't let me go. Pumpkin's flesh softened, so touched by her plea. This beautiful servant sounds worse off than me. How can I help her though? What can I do? This girl has a wish. Can I make it come true? Stars skittered brightly. A fairy appeared. She sighed at the pumpkin. Yes, just as I feared. Cinders needs help. She should go to the ball. I just cannot think of a good plan at all. Pumpkin thought quickly. He'd spotted his chance. What about me? I'll take her to the dance. Here's my suggestion. Assemble a team. Somehow, together, we'll fulfil her dream. With the flick of a wand and the puff of a spell, bring. 
pumpkin burst free from his tangerine shell. With sparkles of silver, a whoosh of delight. Whoosh. Cinders, my dear, here's your coach for the night. The transfigured pumpkin rushed into the dark. The girl met the prince, and they struck up a spark. But the proud as punch carriage was in for a shock, when the spell promptly broke with the strike of the clock. Help me make the sound of the clock. Ding! Ding! The following day, a cook, gardener and witch stood shaking their heads the side of a ditch. The pumpkin they'd hunted for, sought out and found, was battered and bruised, all alone on the ground. At last, cried the chef to the rest of the group, he's way past his best, but I'll still make the soup. We'll feast all together, we'll eat till we pop. Then plant all the seedlings and grow a new crop. The sorrowful pumpkin shed one final tear. His future was sealed. Did his story end here? I'm not giving up. My tale won't be tragic, he called. Fairy Godmother, bring me your magic. Stars skittered brightly, the fairy appeared. Oh, I'm glad that you called me. Do dry up your tears. The prince has found cinders. They're planning their marriage. And all happy endings require a carriage. With the flick of a wand, and the puff of a spell, bring Pumpkin burst free from his tangerine shell. With sparkles of silver, a shimmery blaze. Send us your coach for the rest of your days. So wasn't that such a good story to read? Our wonderful pumpkin, who grew from a seed, found a job that was different, a job that was new. He helped out a girl, and his own wish came true. <gasps> the end. Join us next week for another episode of Storytime with Hannah and Patrick. See you soon. Bye. Bye.